Hello children, now we will discuss about the epiglottis and passage of air. What is the importance of epiglottis in respiratory system? See the diagram. If you see the diagram, so these are called as nostrils. What do you call? These are called as nostrils. Air enters into our body through the nostrils. So by the nostrils, air is entering. So air enters through the nostrils and it moves to the empty place which is present in our nose. So the empty place present in the nose is called as nasal cavity. What do you call? Nasal cavity. After that air reaches to the another place. Next part of the respiratory system it is, it is called as pharynx. See here air is entering into our body by this way and it is reaching to the place that is called pharynx. Next, after that, next condition, if you take the food, we take the food through the mouth. So by the mouth, we are taking the food and we are keeping into the buccal cavity. After the buccal cavity, food also go to the same place. That place is called pharynx. That means pharynx is the common place. It is a common place for air and it is a common place for food also. Pharynx is the common passage for air and food pharynx is a common passage for respiratory system and digestive system so here at the region of the pharynx one problem is there one tricky problem is there what is that problem here pharynx from the pharynx there are two ways one way goes to the see here there are two ways are there from the pharynx there are two ways from the pharynx there are two ways here pharynx this is the this region is called pharynx from the pharynx there are two ways are going two pathways are going so this pathway so this way goes to the finally goes to the where lungs and this way goes to the stomach this way goes to the stomach and this tube like structure is called what you call wind pipe what you call wind pipe and it is the what food pipe this is the food pipe and this is the wind pipe and finally so this way goes to the stomach and it will goes to the lungs now what happened here at the region of the pharynx one muscular flap like valve is present so like this muscular flap like valve is present muscular flap like valve is present at the region of pharynx so this is called as epiglottis epiglottis what is epiglottis epiglottis is a flap like muscular wall see here flap like muscular wall is present at the place of the pharynx so this structure is called as epiglottis what is the function of epiglottis when we take the food through the mouth it reaches to the buccal cavity then it goes to the pharynx from the pharynx food it enters into the where so food has to go to the where stomach but there may be chances to enter into the lungs also then in that condition what happens so this epiglottis close the way of lungs so close the way to the lungs so epiglottis will close epiglottis close the way to the lungs then what happens when we take the food so food we are taking food and food enters into the buccal cavity then after that pharynx and here way is closed so then what happens finally food reaches to the stomach then when we take the air into our body then what happens this epiglottis will be open totally it will be open when we take the air into our body so then that air reaches to the lungs so in that way epiglottis is controlling the passage of air and food into their respective passages due to the presence of epiglottis only food is entering into the stomach and air is going into the lungs if food enters into the lungs what happens sometimes food particles may enter into the lungs then what happens so at that time we will get the choking so when the food particles enters into the lungs we will get the choking what is choking so in the choking 
so we will suddenly we will get the tears from the eyes and we will get the cough and the breathing problem there is a difficulty in breathing so when there is when food particles enters into the lungs immediately we will get the tears from the eyes and there is a difficulty in breathing so that condition is called as choking so here choking will be happens when food particles enters into the lungs here function of the epiglottis is controlled by the nervous system central nervous system is controlling the work or function of the epiglottis here epiglottis is closing the windpipe and opening the windpipe how so due to the involvement of the central nervous system so epiglottis will be close the windpipe so when we take the food and epiglottis will be open when we take the air so here when we take the air epiglottis will be open and when we take the food means when we swallow the food then what happen epiglottis close the windpipe so in the in that way epiglottis is working so that is the function of epiglottis we can understand the function of the epiglottis by one activity so what is that activity let us see the activity related to the epiglottis work function of the epiglottis so now this is the palm so keep the palm in front of your nose so now breathe out so when you breathe out air touching to the palm so then we can feel that breathing is happening so now take a piece of any apple and keep inside your mouth now start chewing then after that touch the throat with the fingers so now try to swallow the food into your body when you are swallowing the food then now observe air is touching or not so when you swallow the food so air is not touching the form that means breathing is stopped when i am swallowing the food breathing will be stopped so this is the function of the epiglottis when we swallow the food breathing will be stopped how see here when we take the food through the mouth when we take the food through the mouth so that has to enter into the stomach but there may be chances to enter into the lungs so that's why the epiglottis which is present at the region of the pharynx so that will close the way to the windpipe or lungs then what happen so if you take the air also that will that is not entering into the lungs so that's why breathing will be stopped when we swallow the food this epiglottis close the pathway to the lungs this epiglottis close the way of the windpipe so that food enters into the stomach only next when we take the air then what happen this epiglottis will open epiglottis will be open and that air enters into the lungs so this is the function of epiglottis by these activities we proved that when we swallow the food then what happen epiglottis closing the way to the lungs so that's why food enters into the stomach only so when we take the air into the body then epiglottis will be open and that air will go to the lungs so this is the function of epiglottis